Good morning. Welcome to Crochet with Nana Rosanna. I'm Rosanna. Welcome to day 12 of Vlogmas. We're almost halfway there. Christmas is coming up so quickly, I can't believe it. I'm getting this out a little late today because my computer said it's time to update to Windows 11. I said, sure. So I hit it before and I thought, okay, I'll do a few things. And it just kept going and going and going. So while it was doing that, I uh, was working on um, my work that my girlfriend um, had brought over for me to do at home. So I was doing that. And, you know, I was just waiting for the computer to do its thing. And finally I came over and I said, you know what? Enough is enough. Two hours have gone by, still not happening. So I clicked out and then it said I had to do something like upload to an outside drive. I have no idea what's going on. So I canceled everything and I thought, you know what? I'll be seeing my daughter this weekend coming up so I can wait till the weekend because I have no clue what's going on about that. So we did do shopping and um, I believe we're all done with our kids gifts and we're just going to give them a little bit of cash also. So excuse me, that's what we've done now. I am on my third cup of huge coffee. Oh, it's nice and hot. I love it. And I think I'm ready to start Vlogmas. So let's start with our uh, advent calendar. So today's day 12. Let's see, it's right here. Oh, it hasn't disappointed. It's hard to get in again. And it is a little green Christmas tree. And it's showing you it the wrong way. I'm so sorry. <laughs> there we go. I'll insert a picture of it here. So that's the Christmas tree. And diamond painting. I did no diamond painting this morning. I thought I'd finish up the work for my girlfriend first and then I would start. But um, I decided to just not look at them and just grab which one I was going to do. So this is the one I'm going to be doing. It's a big Santa Claus. So nothing's been done. It's still covered. It's very tacky. So it comes like this. And then you lift up the flat, the uh, cellophane paper. And then it's very tacky and that's how the diamonds stick on. So that's the picture of Santa. And then you get in it a tray. You get wax that you use your um, little pen here to put some inside and that's what picks up the diamonds and that's the tray that holds it. And then these are all the diamonds for this. There's a lot of them. Wow. 25 colors this time. So those are the diamonds. So I will, if I have time today, I'll start it. If not, I'll probably do it tomorrow morning. So that's the diamond painting I'll be working on. And he is a cute Santa. He's like an old fashioned Santa. So I'm very happy with that. And I will start that tomorrow morning. And for our stitch markers, my granddaughter took one of these home. We made um, actually a zipper pulley for it. I put a great big lobster claw on it. But it is a little kitten in a Santa hat. You can't see his face, so I'll insert a picture of it here. So that's, and um, we did send one and um, to one of our podcaster friends, and I'm not going to say who, but um, there's a reasoning why this one was sent to that, that person. And once she opens it, I'll let you know what it is. So that was my stitch marker and I have my Tangled Poet yarn and these colors are beautiful. They're in the purples. It's a little darker than that, but they're beautiful. I love the way I've been trying to grab the ones that transition where you get the dark purple in two of them, but one's a lighter and one goes darker and I really do like that. And I'm so excited to start something during uh, Christmas vacation. And um, it's going to be a shawl and I've been looking through, like I said, several. I think I found one that I can do and um, I'll get started on that and that'll be a big project. It'll take me a while. I still don't know what size uh, 
needles to use on this very fingering yarn, but I'm pretty sure I could look it up somewhere. So those, I'll put a picture of these in for your proper color. Excuse me one moment. So sorry about that. Um, this cold is still hanging on and um, I was starting to choke and I didn't want you guys to see me choking on film, but hopefully I'm okay now. The cough and um, I hate to say it, but the phlegm and the mucus is still all in my nasal and down into my throat. So I have to get better for my surgery. So I'm hoping I'm not planning to go out very much and um, in here in Canada, I and I believe in the States, and I've heard in Germany also, the hospitals are filled with kids and adults with flus, and COVID is coming back again, and I don't know if I'm allowed to say that word, but so if I go out, I will be wearing a mask because I can't take a chance on anything, and I'm probably going to order my groceries online. I've never done it but we'll see i just don't want to go out into the public right now just before surgery because i believe it's in a week and a half so that's um what's going on there so i'm gonna get rid of this and be healthy for my surgery and um, now i'm going to show you my santa i've had him i'm going to say 20 years and he is ceramic plastic i'm not sure but it's a it looks like a wood carving and he's called Away in a Manger and the Santa. I'm gonna get it really close. You can see baby Jesus and Mary and Joseph there. So I love this one. This is one of my favorites and his jacket, his cape is stunning. I just love him. And he sits up on my mantle all Christmas long and I make sure I pack him up really well. So that's Santa, I'll put a picture of him in here. because he is one of my favorites. Just love it. And it's um, a numbered item, so I really cherish him. Put him down over here carefully. And that leads us to our Chevron blanket. Blanket is by Christico, sorry, Christico Designs. Linked below is the pattern and also the uh, YouTube channel that the pattern is made on. So I added in my variegated yarn and it's looking really good. I am so surprised and, and I know I've had a lot of comments about how well he's chosen the colors and I am so surprised. I have a huge, even bigger than that, Tupperware that I throw in all my, uh, my uh, partially used skeins. I do uh, hank them all, not hank them, ball them all up with my uh, machine or if they're small I just roll them up and he went through them and did it all himself I was really surprised he's done so well so that is the variegated and let's see get my box and we are on day 12 just keep rolling around so day 12. And my box is falling apart here. Should have had him tape that up too. <laughs> so put that there and I'll open it underneath. So today I am planning on um, house doing housekeeping and um, then relax this afternoon. So I try and do a little bit every day, but then there are days, Mondays, I like to make sure all the floors are washed and vacuumed and everything like that. So Mondays are usually my biggest days for uh, my housework. Wow, that's beautiful. And you know what? In the bag, that's the color. Nice. That is, yeah, see? When it's in the bag, that is the color. It is such a bright, bright yellow. I love it. And it's very different to the other yellow. So we'll be putting that yellow on top of the variegated. Honey, another good job. So that's it, short and sweet today, because like I said, my computer was acting up and um, I have to get some of my work done before I can sit down and crochet. Oh, let me grab my Santa.
We'll finish up with uh, my Santa serving me my yarn. So thank you very much. We will see you again tomorrow. Bye for now.